Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today you will learn about Petau syndrome on ultrasound. Petau syndrome is also known as trisomy 13. It is a chromosomal disorder characterized by the presence of an extra chromosome 13. Its conformation requires genetic testing such as amniocentesis or chorionic villus sampling. Some ultrasound features indicate Petau syndrome. The most common abnormalities include brain and facial abnormalities. Ventriculomegaly refers to abnormally dilated lateral ventricles. When the diameter of the lateral ventricle exceeds 10 millimeters, it is enlarged. The normal lateral ventricle diameter is less than 10 millimeters. An isolated ventriculomegaly does not really indicate Petau syndrome, but if ventriculomegaly is present with other pathologies such as heart defects, including ventricular septal defect or truncus arteriosus, and limb abnormalities such as polydactyly or with kidney defects, as well as facial abnormalities, it may indicate Petau syndrome. In mild ventriculomegaly, the diameter of the lateral ventricle is between 10 and 12 millimeters. When the diameter is more than 12 and less than 15 millimeters, it is considered moderate ventriculomegaly. And when the diameter exceeds 15 millimeters, it is considered severe ventriculomegaly. The most common abnormality associated with Petau syndrome is holoprosencephaly. In this abnormality, the cerebral hemispheres of the fetal brain fail to divide into two separate cerebral hemispheres. It is a very severe and serious anomaly. Instead of two separate cerebral hemispheres, a small, abnormally developed brain tissue is seen. The most serious form of holoprosencephaly is alober holoprosencephaly. In this type, the brain tissue completely fails to divide into two separate cerebral hemispheres. On ultrasound, a normal fetal brain appears like this. This hyperechoic line is the Fox cerebri. And these hypoechoic structures on either side of the fox are thalami. But in A lober holoprosencephaly, many brain structures are absent, and we will find fused thalami, anteriorly fused thalami, and a monoventricular cavity, a large, fluid filled, C shaped. An echoic structure is present instead of normal brain tissue and normal lateral ventricles. This is a monoventricular cavity and it is seen in holoprosencephaly. The fused thalami are seen on the anterior side of the brain and the monoventricular cavity is usually seen posteriorly. These features strongly suggest a lober holoprosencephaly. The Fox cerebri is also absent. A lober holoprosencephaly is usually associated with severe facial abnormalities. A proboscis is a tubular, nose like structure that is seen at the forehead. This structure is seen in longitudinal view. In this image, this is the proboscis. It is usually associated with holoprosencephaly. Hypotelorism refers to decrease in distance between the eyes. They will be seen much nearer to each other. This is called hypotelorism. And a proboscis is also present in this image. Both of these features are usually seen in 
hollow person safely. Cyclopia refers to a single central eye instead of two eyes. Only a single central eye will be present. It is also strongly associated with holoprosencephaly, especially a lober holoprosencephaly. Semilober holoprosencephaly is the second type. It is less severe than a lober holoprosencephaly, but it still contains very severe malformations. In this type, there is partial separation of the brain's hemispheres. There is some division at the back of the brain, the posterior part, but the frontal regions are fused. So you will still find fused thalami anteriorly and a monoventricular cavity. This is another image showing semi-lobar holoprosencephaly. Some normal brain tissue is present and partially separated ventricles are seen. We are not seeing two separate lateral ventricles. It is still a monoventricular cavity. The Fox rebri and Cavum septum pellucidum are also absent. Another common facial abnormality includes cleft lip and palate. These images show transverse oblique views at the fetal mouth. This is the normal image showing the fetal nose, upper lip and mouth. No hypoechoic defect is present in the normal image. But if there is a cleft lip and palate, you will find a hypoechoic defect in the upper lip and a hypoechoic defect in the palate. This type of appearance indicates a cleft lip and palate. This is another image showing a monoventricular cavity with absent fox cerebri. Only a small abnormally formed brain tissue is present. This appearance indicates holoprosencephaly, a lober holoprosencephaly. This image was of semi-lober holoprosencephaly. There is partial separation of the ventricles. You can see some brain tissue, but anteriorly you will find fused thalami. The Fox rebri is partially absent. Only a small part of the Fox rebri is present between the thalami. This was semi-lober holoprosencephaly. The third type is lober holoprosencephaly. It is the least severe type. The thalami will be normal in this type. The Fox rebri is present and the thalami are seen on either side of the fox in this image but the cavum septum pellucidum is absent this is the cavum septum pellucidum it will appear as a hypoechoic or anechoic fluid filled structure somewhat rectangular shaped anterior to the thalami this is the cavum septum pellucidum but in this image it is absent we do not see a hypoechoic fluid filled structure anterior to the thalami. Holoprosencephaly is strongly associated with Petau syndrome. A fetus with Petau syndrome usually has intrauterine growth restriction as well. The fetal biometric parameters will be persistently short for gestational age. With abnormal Doppler findings, the estimated fetal weight will be below 10th percentile for gestational age with abnormal Doppler findings in a fetus with IUGR. In this example, the normal fetal weight at 20 weeks is usually around 355 grams. This is just an example. 
but in a growth restricted fetus the estimated fetal weight was 280 grams at 20 weeks this is just an example of a growth restricted fetus cardiac anomalies are also present in a fetus with patau syndrome truncus arteriosus and ventricular septal defect are often present in truncus arteriosus a single vessel will be seen arising from the heart on ultrasound along with a ventricular septal defect so if only one vessel one single vessel is seen leaving the heart it strongly indicates truncus arteriosus abdominal abnormalities may include omphalocele omphalocele is the herniation of abdominal contents through an umbilical defect in this image this is the omphalocele the herniated contents are usually bowel or liver but may include other organs as well such as the stomach the omphalocele is usually present at the center of the abdomen this protruding structure is the omphalocele sac the umbilical cord inserts into this omphalocele sac polydactyly means having more than 5 digits in the hand or foot in this image we see one thumb and six fingers these are the extra fingers this indicates polydactyly so if polydactyly is present along with holoprosencephaly and facial malformations then these features strongly suggest patau syndrome ultimately patau syndrome is confirmed through amniocentesis or chorionic villus sampling thank you so much for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos